I am Anil Kumar and now let us understand how to expand and simplify polynomials with fractions. In this example we have mixed numbers. Minus 1 2 over 3 times half x minus half y take away 2 and a half times 1 third of x plus 1 third of y. First step should be to write all these mixed numbers as improper fractions. So we have minus 1 times 3 is 3, 3 plus 2 is 5, minus 5 over 3 times half x minus half y minus 2 and a half is 5 over 2, 2 times 2 is 4, 4 plus 1 is 5. So we get 5 over 2 times 1 over 3x plus 1 over 3y. Now let's apply distributive property and expand them. So we have minus 5 over 3 times half x and then we have minus times minus. So when you have minus times minus it becomes plus. It's a good idea to write plus straight away. 5 over 3 times half y. Now in this term minus times plus is minus. We have minus here and we have 5 over 2 times 1 over 3x. Minus times plus is negative. We get negative sign. 5 over 2 times 1 over 3y. Now we should combine the like terms. Like terms are the terms with x and these are the other two like terms with y. So what we will do in this step is we will simplify this and combine the like terms. That is we'll actually write them together and combine in the next step, right? So these are the like terms, correct? These are the y's. So here we have minus 5 over 6x and this one is minus 5, 5 times 1 and 3 times 2 is 6, 6x. And this term is 5 times 1 is 5 plus 5, 3 times 2 is 6, y. And this term is minus 5 times 1 is 5, 3 times 2 is 6, y. Now, in this case, what do we get? Minus 5 by 6x minus 5 by 6x. That means we have minus 10 by 6 and 6 is common. Minus 5 and minus 5 makes it minus 10. So we get minus 10 by 6x. And for y's, we have 5 by 6y minus 5 by 6. So it is 0, right? So you're left with minus 10 by 6x. Now, 10 and 6 has common factor of 2, so it can be simplified and written as minus 5 over 3x, right? Dividing both by 2, correct? Now, 5 by 3 is improper fraction. So it's a good idea to write it as a mixed number. So we get minus 3 goes 1 times, leaving remainder of 2. So we get 1, 2 over 3 x. So that is our answer for the given polynomial. Thank you.